has come to another episode of the Our City Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show, hosted by the Reverend Black Jack McBride, the local Arizona Southern Metal Band, Two in the Chest. We have a great show, just like always, playing live. Well, not live, it's kind of live, but the music is not live. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, the best local metal music in Arizona in the United States as far as I'm concerned. We've got the best and we have it all right here. The R City Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show. So you guys just kick back, relax, pull up them bootstraps, and let's get ready to party. Alright? We're gonna start the show off with uh, one of my favorite Arizona bands, which is <clears throat> a list as long as my bony leg. Alright? We're going to start it off with a band called Fifth Density, and it's going to be a double shot. All right, so let's get this party started, you freaking meat bags. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs>
gehalten. fifth density with their mega genesis and uh before that the, man i'll tell you what these guys are awesome man i had this stuff cranked in my headphones man. <laughs> now we have another awesome metal band coming up and it's talk to sheep good buddies of mine absolutely love these guys played a show with them a couple of weeks ago at uh what is it uh, crabby dawns and uh can't wait to do another one with them absolutely awesome guys so anyway we got us a double shot coming up a talk to sheep all right let's get her done 
This is the Reverend Black Jack McBride from the Phoenix R City Radio's Dust Bowl Metal Show. And you're listening to R City Radio. R City Radio. R City Radio. Hi, I'm Samira. You're listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show. Oh! 
you're missing you need to get out to these local shows i'm telling you every single band that i play on the dust bowl metal show is from right here in arizona with the exception of a couple that i like but 99.9 percent of every band on here is right here from arizona let me tell you what talk to sheep man those guys just rip it up on stage you got to check them out one of these days if you have not Next up is got to be the coolest, tightest, most awesome, old school metal band that's in the valley that I have heard. If you have not had a chance to hear Warhead, get out and check out one of them, one of their shows. These guys will entertain your freaking socks off. I'll tell you what, they're awesome absolutely awesome so that's what we're gonna do right after this id we're gonna play a double shot of warhead hey all you crazy meat bags this is the reverend black jack mcbride with our city radio dust bowl metal show are you a local musician band dj or comedian phoenix's our city radio can give you the exposure that you need Local musicians, bands, DJs, and comedians now have a free platform in which to submit their music to. That is completely free and will always be free. You as an artist can provide the local feel and pulse to our city that is like none other. With you providing your unique sounds and content, we now have a platform with a local buzz of its own that cannot be duplicated. Since we are connected to a national platform, you also have a killer chance to have natural exposure. To add your music or content to the Phoenix Art City Radio, just go to the top of the page and hit Submit Music. From there, you can upload your music or content. This has been a message from the Reverend Black Jack McBride from the Art City Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show.
That was a double shot of Warhead. Just about the best old school metal band I have ever heard right here in Arizona. They have got some killer stuff. If you've never seen them, check out their page. They're awesome. Uh, next up is going to be a double shot from a band called Skull Pin. We had an interview with them a couple months back. Um, but first, we are going to give you the message. East West was last week's message. This week's message is East West Mesa Karate. There you go. East West Mesa Karate. They are off of Ellsworth and Baseline in Mesa, Arizona. East West Mesa Karate. You've heard it? Type that into the Dust Bowl Metal Show forums and you'll get yourself a free pair of tickets to Cataclysm coming up on April 19th at Joe's Grotto. East West Mesa Karate. Type that in. Go to dustbowlmetalshow.blogspot.com click on the tab that says Dust Bowl Metal Show Forums sign up to the forums and type in East West Mesa Karate and we'll get you out them uh, free tickets alright alright let's do an ID and then we're going to do a double shot of Skull Pin oh yeah baby RC Radio is the internet's first marketing mix for independent musicians, built by musicians with the sole purpose of airplay and exposure for all. Combining the power of internet marketing with internet radio to provide the most unique platform ever built solely for the independent artist. That is RC Radio. Radio.
double shot. Our City Radio's Dust Bowl Metal Show. You're listening to Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Missed it by that much. Hi. Th- Missed it by that much. Hi, I'm Samira. You're listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show. All right, next up we've got a double shot of Saint Madness. They got a lot of shows coming up this year, so look out for those guys. Right up first, we're going to do a Praise the Chip, and then after that, we're going to do their new one, Drowning on Air. If you have not seen that video, you need to type that in on YouTube and find it, because it is a cool video. Local metal, right here, baby, the best. Let's get her done, Prophet. Wired, 
And soon they'll have your life in the greedy little hands. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Give praise. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Give praise. You can't buy any food without the chip in you. What are you gonna do? Time to get a clue now. They want us to be safe. You know they have their ways. Even into our brain, the government loves you. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Give praise. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Praise the chip. Give praise. I've never felt 
message in on the uh, forum so you can get those free tickets to Cataclysm, all right? I got a little message for you. Well, it's not really a message. It just goes out to all you metal bands. If you like what you hear on the Dust Bowl Metal Show, send that music in. First, go to phoenix.rcdradio.com. Up in the upper right corner, you will find a tab that says Submit Music. Fill that light information out and submit your music, and that way it's on 24-hour rotation. Okay? It's always playing. If you want your music played on the Dust Bowl Metal Show, then you're going to have to email it to me. Okay? Email it to rbjm.dbms at live.com. All right, send that music to me, and I'll get it on the radio for you. We got uh, we got a double shot of a bunch of bands coming up still. Uh, I just want you guys to uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Goodness gracious, man, what's going on here? Anyway, if you want a shout out, we're going to be doing shout outs here in about about a half hour or so. So, if you want a shout out, get on my Rich Ornalis page. And post it in there where I've been posting all the bands that are playing. Just post out and shout out right there. You know, you want a personal shout out? Awesome. Put it on there. I'll do it for you. That's what I'm here for. Local, baby, local. Well, this is actually being broadcast worldwide, so you're getting a worldwide uh, appearance too. So if you've got a business that you want to shout out to, put it on there as well. Or find the RCD Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show page on Facebook. You can find it there, too. Or you can post it in the forums on dustbowlmetalshow.blogspot.com. Post it anywhere. I'll find it. I'll give you a shout-out. All right? I'm going to give you a little bit of news because that's what I do. But first, I'm going to reset this background music because... That's what I have to do, too. So, here we go. Ready? <laughs> All right. We got some stuff going on here. We got a few concerts coming up. I'm going to I'm gonna just float through those on Facebook. And remember, if I don't get the information right, it's not on me. It's on the people that post the events. Okay? I'm going to read what they put on there. If they give me good information, then you're going to receive good information. Okay? That's where I get it from. Anyway, I wanted to read something <laughs> that's... Uh, pretty pretty stupid i just it's just a yahoo question yahoo answers you know and uh 
this chick, um, need, somebody needs to slap her in the head or she's been slapped too many times or she was dropped on her head or something because this is just stupid. <laughs> Here I am. She says, how am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> okay, let me read it again. If you're not laughing your ass off right now. How am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? Um, uh, here, here's, here's the rest of it. I just had a baby, and it looks more like the man, you know, I had my baby with. It doesn't look like me at all, and I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady, and I had her kid. <laughs> this child is the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I can't imagine giving my baby to the real mom. <laughs> How do I know that this is my kid? <laughs> Okay, you got some stupid people in the world, then you got some really stupid people. And she ranks up there in the top category of really freaking stupid people. <laughs> anyway, um, let's keep moving on here. This is kind of a <clears throat> kind of a weird thing here. A tree trimmer was uh, recovering after he was rushed to a Pittsburgh hospital with a chainsaw blade embedded in his neck. James Valentine was in a tree and Ross... Ross Township on Monday afternoon when he was struck in the neck by a saw. Another worker helped him down and his co-workers left the saw in place to try to limit the bleeding, which was very smart in my opinion. Valentine had emergency surgery at, uh, I can't even pronounce the hospital name, it's a, a general hospital somewhere. Uh, doctors say the saw missed major arteries and instead cut into his muscles. The hospital Tuesday released an x-ray showing the saw still in the 21-year-old's neck. Valentine works for Alder Tree Service in, in Gibsonia. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, calls, uh, that that was amazing. I mean, the guy's lucky he didn't chop his freaking head off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just crazy stuff right there. Uh, let's see, it's moving right along here. Um, Let's see here, we got, uh, here we go. A firefighter put his reptile handling handling experience to good use when he rescued a six foot long python from a burning home in Western Michigan. This firefighter, Scott uh, Hamelsbach, told the Chronicle in uh, Muskion, man, they sure know how to, it sounds like a, like a Minnesota uh, town, Muskion, you know? Anyway. Uh, he told the Chronicle that he reluctantly agreed to enter the two-story smoke-filled house Sunday night to retrieve the snake. He says he cradled the, the weighty snake before carrying it to safety. It was trying to crawl up the side of uh, the terranium to get out, and uh, his face was pushed up on the screen trying to get him out. There was a lot of smoke, and he was trapped. The firefighter said he learned how to handle snakes while he was at the uh, Grand Haven High School where he helped showcase them. Uh, he said he'd uh, I'd take them around and show them to the kids in the elementary classes, he said. Uh, that didn't bother me at all. But anyway, uh, he reached a python inside the home. He gingerly handled him so to not scare the reptile. I mean, I'm sure he was already scared to death. He got fired and doggone house burning down, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, he says, I removed the screen off the top and knew to approach it by coming up from behind his head. He became very active, and I was glad because that meant he was okay. Two people in a home escaped without injury, fire officials said. The fire significantly damaged the home, and the cause is under investigation. I would do it for any creature, Hamelsbach said. I'm just glad it, it had a happy ending. Oh, what a cool guy. Rescued a snake, huh? Stupid news that you really didn't need to hear. I'll give you a little bit more a little bit later. Just remember, guys, now it looks like in about another 15, 20 minutes, we're going to be giving shout-outs. So, if you want to shout-out personally, or if you want to shout-out for your business, post it somewhere. I can see it, for God's sakes. Anyway, let's get back to some, some music here. Uh, we're going to do a... A double shot of my band. I'm sure you guys don't mind. It's my radio show, right? I get to play all these awesome bands. 
and then we'll throw a mediocre one in there. Two in the chest. <laughs> anyway, here's a double shot from Two in the Chest for a song called Reno Gang. The second song will be Rusty Spurs. All right, guys, thanks a lot for listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show. The R City Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show, hosted by the Reverend Blackjack McBride, from local Arizona Southern Metal Band, Two in the Chest. Here we go. Reno Gang. This is Velvet from Tuna Chest, and you are listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show.
City Radio is the internet's first marketing mix for independent musicians, built by musicians with the sole purpose of airplay and exposure for all. Combining the power of internet marketing with internet radio to provide the most unique platform ever built solely for the independent artist. That is Our City Radio. 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 All right, this next double shot. These guys are, you know. You know, I keep saying, these guys are good. These guys are awesome. You know what? I could say it all night for every damn band that I play on this radio show. This next band is called Corum. They are awesome. They do a cover, a Pink Floyd cover, that I'll be playing in this double shot. Their first song that I'll be playing is a song called Burning Eden. Now... I'm going to say it again. I stress this day in and day out. Get out. Support your local metal music. We bust our butt so that you can hear some awesome music. Head on out there. It don't matter where you go. Just go somewhere. Help them out. Get out there. Buy a ticket from them. Okay? Buy a ticket from the band. A lot of these venues do not pay them from the door. And... From the work that we do, we definitely deserve some kind of compensation. Every band in Arizona that I have heard that I play on the Dust Bowl Metal Show is well worth the cost of getting in. Just shell it out. Help them out. Buy some merch. Definitely. Buy some merch from these guys. I do it. Absolutely. I'll do anything to support my local metal music. These guys are out there for you, for your entertainment. Help them out. Like their page. Tell them they're doing a great job. Do something. Just let them know, okay, that you really care and that you support them. All right? All right, next up we got a double shot from Corum. First one is Burden Eden, and the second one is that Pink Floyd cover, Hey You. So here we go, Corum, tear it up. Poison stripped of immortality Fixated shadows dancing on the wall Time for sand that now begins to fall
Fishy feet and fading smiles Can you feel me? Oh hey you Don't help them to carry the lights Don't give in Without a fight I tell you that was cool man those guys nailed it that is freaking awesome man i tell you i love pink floyd you know but i can't play it on this radio show only local metal bands all right next up a uh, double shot is going to be from athens we fled all right first one up is uh, faith in fiction all right guys let's tear it up <laughs>
McBride from the Phoenix Art City Radio's Dust Bowl Metal Show. You're listening to Art City Radio. Art City Radio. Double shot. <laughs>
meat bags. Uh, we're going to do some shout outs here in just a minute. Uh, remember, you can have a shout out for your business or yourself or a loved one or a friend or uh, you want to remember somebody that has passed or anything. Just write it down and I'll, uh, I'll do it for you. That's what I'm here for. And uh, so anyway, I'm going <clears> to <throat> read you another crazy story. A Maine man, in search of a valuable mineral, cut open a dead porcupine on the side of the road and unexpectedly pulled out its baby. Jared of Libson says he was searching for wild, uh, wild mushrooms Thursday when he saw a porcupine hit by a car in a minute. Minutes. He Bazell, I guess is his name. Uh, Jared Bazell says he uh, heard the, that a valuable mineral deposit used in Chinese medicine formed in stomachs of porcupines. That's what he heard. Well, that's kind of cool. He then cut open the dead porcupine to search for the mineral, and instead found the baby. He tells the uh, WMTW TV. He cut the umbilical cord and thought the baby porcupine was dead until he started massaging it and it began breathing. Buzzel is caring for the baby at home and plans to give it to a licensed wildlife rehabilitator. How cool is that? I mean, it just, it's just those things, you know, they're just they're those time sensitive things. I mean, if the guy would have come by, what, five minutes later, 10 minutes maybe? then that baby porcupine would be dead. But no, he showed up right in the nick of time to save the life of that porcupine. Now, why he's saving the life of that porcupine? What it's going to do, I don't know. But the fact is, he showed up right in the nick of time. That's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Anyway, moving on here. Authorities say... A Georgia teen is under arrest and accused of spending about $25,000 that a bank accidentally deposited into his account. Okay, before I read this story, <clears throat> let me get this straight. You know you don't have $25,000. The bank accidentally gives you $25,000. How stupid do you have to be to know that you need to give that money back because it's not yours. It's pretty stupid. Anyway, the Madison County Sheriff's Department says 18-year-old Stephen Fields of Hull, uh, northeastern Georgia, I would imagine, uh, turned himself in Friday. He faces charges of theft by taking. So, uh, you know, you know, he, he took the 25000 I mean, they gave it to him. I mean, think about it. I mean, it's kind of cool. You know, <laughs> they gave it to him. So, that looks like uh, my console is frozen here. This is not cool. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, my console's frozen. It's just, oh. Oh, come on. Don't stop on me now. Oh, man, I hate it when this happens. Uh, please don't stop. I'm almost done with the show. I only need a few more minutes. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. Oh, thank God. I'm still broadcasting. Man, that happened to me a couple weeks ago. I got about five minutes into the show and the doggone thing crashed. Anyway. Um, he faces charges of theft by taking. A home phone number for Fields could not be located. And it was not immediately clear whether he had an attorney or not. Uh, the department says they tell her at the bank in Hull uh, inadvertently deposited a check for approximately 31000 into the wrong account. Authorities say the money was spent on purchases at a uh, car dealership, <laughs> various stores, and a fast food restaurant. Authorities say uh, there was an effort to come to an agreement between Fields and the bank, and that Fields said he couldn't repay the money. So, I guess he's going to be doing some jail time for stealing $25,000. Wow. What an idiot. So, anyway, uh, we got um, got some shows coming up. 
and I'm going to announce uh, this weekend's shows uh, after the next music uh, block, so to speak. Uh, I'm going to do uh, some some shout-outs right now to a couple of buddies, just for the heck of it, because they're cool like that. I'm going to give a shout-out to Frank Murga. Cool guy. Played bass in two in the chest for a while. Now, he went by the name of Sancho. It's pretty cool. Or a, a, uh, one of those Mexican sombreros. He looked really cool. Awesome guy. I'm going to give a shout-out to my, my sister-in-law, Tammy Ornalis. Uh, she's, a, she's a hell of a woman. Uh, she's uh, still waiting for a job to come through without work for a little while. My brother is suffering from a really bad case of a thing called ankylosing spondylitis, so they really need the money coming in. So yeah, if you're praying uh, people, then uh, give them some prayer. If uh, you're a positive thrower of energy or whatever, throw them some positive energy. I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Chris Cornell. He's in a band called Latency. Awesome guy. Freaking killer, killer bass player. And uh, anyway, uh, I'll give a shout out to a really old friend of mine. Uh, she used to support an old band I was in. It's called Scapegoat at the time. Uh, Robbie Marlowe. Thank you, Robbie, for being so cool. Um, <laughs> this guy's got a weird name. I'm going to give a shout out to Michael Benghazi Halawecki III. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Brian Hill. He was the uh, bass player in a, in, a, in a band a while back. Uh, Samus Theory, awesome bass player, great band too, and um, I'm going to give a shout out to Candy Grief, she's uh, one of the funeral directors over there at uh, Snoring Skies Funeral Home, awesome lady, awesome lady, she's so understanding uh, of my situations, uh, she knows that I'm the only driver in the house, and we got to get a lot of appointments in, and i got to run a business too, so Thank you, Candy, at Sonoran Skies Funeral Home. And I'd like to give a shout-out to Randy Kramer. Now, here's a guy that uh, has been through a lot of crap in his life. And I'm going to have to restart this music because I'm not done with my shout-outs. So, like I said, if you want a shout-out, you uh, send it over to me and I'll get it to you. So, anyway, I'm going to continue on with Randy. Now, Randy is a, is a special kind of dude. And... Uh, he came through for me many years ago, back when I was in my early 20s. Uh, I was homeless. <laughs> he saw me and he says, hey, man, what are you doing? I go, I'm kind of chilling. <laughs> he says, why don't you come live with my wife and I and get yourself back on your feet? Well, he let me live rent-free for a month and a half, and that was just enough time for me to make enough money to get my own place. Shout out to Randy Kramer. Thank you, man. Love you, bro. You're awesome. All right, I think that's just about it for the shout-outs. Oh, well, here's another one. Jody Ray Sowers. This guy right here helped me out of a, a predicament I was in last year. Um, uh, he loaned me some money, and I've been unable to pay him back. And every time I go to pay him back, I get something happen to myself. You know, like this van I'm trying to fix. Every time I turn around, i got to pump more money into it. <laughs> so anyway, shout-out to Jody. Thank you, brother. Thank you for understanding, and thank you for hanging on. And uh, guys, I just, I got to, like I said, I'm going to give some shows, uh, show information, uh, event information after this next block of music. So stick around, you Dust Bowl Metal Meat Bags. Remember, you're listening to the R City Radio Dust Bowl Metal Show, hosted by the Reverend Black Jack McBride, local Arizona Southern Metal Band, two in the chest. All right, you meat bags. We're going to do a double shot up from Athens. Uh, wait a minute, did I already do that? That's here. Yeah, I did. We're going to do a double shot of Drive Through Rehab. How's that? Uh, their first song will be a song called Time. And uh, the next one will be a song called Hole. All right. One letter songs. Easy to remember. Time and Hole. All right. After this ID, we'll give you a double shot of Drive Through Rehab. All right. And then we're going to throw in a single of Cactus Chase. I love those guys. I don't have any more music for them. Otherwise, I'd give them a double shot. It's the only one I have, so Cactus Chainsaw is going to get uh, one song after a double shot of drive through rehab. So here we go, without further ado, and I'm sure you're like, hey, old bony man, why don't you just shut up and play some damn music? 
That's what this is, the Dust Bowl Metal Show, not the, the Dust Bowl Reverend keeps talking 100 miles an hour all night long. We want to hear some damn music, you idiot. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, drive through Rehab, first song time. All right. Our city radio is the internet's first marketing mix for independent musicians, built by musicians with the sole purpose of airplay and exposure for all. Combining the power of internet marketing with internet radio to provide the most unique platform ever built solely for the independent artist. That is our city radio. Radio.
Alright you meat bags, I'm going to give you uh, some concert updates. I'm going to try to thumb through this stuff. Remember I get all the information from Facebook so if there's uh, anything missing or uh, information's wrong it's coming straight from the Facebook events page. So anyway um, for Friday April 4th, uh, that's this weekend obviously, uh, Death Weddle presents Bloomfield Territorial Dispute. Dirty Drifters, Weird Like You, and No Refills at Joe's Grotto. This is a 21 and up event. Pre-sale tickets are 8, 10 at the door. Then you've got the Metal Alliance Tour 4 at Club Red. You got some freaking cool bands. Behemoth is going to be there. Goat Horror, 1349. Inquisition. And Black Crown Initiate, uh, 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 Initiate, Initiate. I think that's it. Black Crown Initiate. Oh, <clears throat> so anyway, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, that's it for Friday. Let's see what we got for Saturday. Let's thumb through here. <clears throat> Looks like we got. Uh, let's see. Wayne Static at Club Red. I mean, I don't even know what kind of music he is. It's, Let's open it up, check it out, see what we got here. Uh, Wayne Static. Uh, let's see here. Wow. That's uh, Wisconsin Death Trip Tour. 13th Floor Entertainment presents this. So it's got to be pretty good, otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Uh, that's well, it's, it's Saturday, April 5th. Uh, doors open at 6. So I'm assuming there's going to be some uh, opening bands for this event let's see what else we got going on here for saturday all right let's see here saturday the fifth cruise through here janet and michael's birthday bash okay featuring element a440 frequus vivicide havens end and vex video release uh oh this is going to be at joe's grotto saturday um, so I'm assuming that's going to be a pretty cool show. My guess is probably eight to ten bucks to get in. Let's see what else we got here. Dangerous Productions is presenting a open casting call for a reality TV show. Woo! -hoo! All right, you gotta head over there. Let's see what time that starts, man. Maybe I want to get into a movie or something, huh? Isn't that kind of cool? Let's see here. Um, the American Barfly Entertainment reality show based, uh, based on. Uh, highlighting American bars so uh, I guess they're gonna be doing that uh, so if you want to be uh, on a TV show it's a uh, Saturday April 5th 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. so uh, head on out to uh, uh, bogey's grill it's a uh, 6364 South World Road Tempe Arizona a5285 the American Barfly Entertainment maybe you can get in a TV show Head on over there and check that out, huh? <laughs> hey, you can be a star. Woohoo! Maybe I'll draw my bones out there and check it out, too. Oh, look, we ran out of music. Gotta turn the music back on. That's the way it works, man. There we go. Boom. All right. Let's keep moving on here. Um, let's see here. Blues Bar. Um, Hog and Jaw rocking at the Blues. Let's see what else is playing there. So, yeah, it's Saturday, April 5th. Uh, mark your calendar. We will be rocking... A good night at the Blues. So get your dancing shoes ready. Come out and have some fun. And always, we look forward to seeing everyone. So it looks like that's about that's all we have. Hog jaw rocking at the Blues. All right, let's just keep on cruising on down here and check this out. We're still working on Saturday, by the way. So let's see here. 910 Live VTV5. I don't even know what the heck that is. Probably some rap artist or something. You know, they turned into a strip club. Pole dancers. Used to be a pretty good uh, music venue, but. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got, man. Like I said, guys, if you want your shows promoted on the Dust Bowl Metal Show, I'll do it. But you gotta send it to me. Can't read your mind. Alright, you meat bags. We're going to end the show with some pretty killer music. Last uh, last couple of bands going to be on will be 
Let's go with, uh, yeah, we'll do a double shot of Howitzer. Oh, yeah, those guys have been around forever. They are awesome. Check them out if you've never seen them. And then we're going to end the show with a double shot of Pelvic Meatloaf, one of my favorite hardcore metal bands. So without uh, further ado, let's just go ahead and get Howitzer going. Uh, we're going to do the Become the Antidote. That's the first song of Howitzer. Uh, the next one will be The Fall of the Great Hope. All right, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show today. I know I did. I'm pretty freaking tired. Been up for a while, so I'm trying to stay with it. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, but like I said, all you metal bands, you want to be played on the Dust Bowl Metal Show, get that music in. rbjm.dbms at live.com. You want to be played 24 hours a day on the radio? Go to phoenix.ourcityradio.com. Up in the right corner, it says Submit Music. Click that button, get that music in. All right, you meat bags. All right. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next week. Remember, get that East West Mesa Karate. Get that in there. Dust Bowl Metal Show. Blogspot.com. Did I tell you that you guys need to have a pen and a paper for this show? Maybe I should have said that at the beginning of the show. Anyway, go to them forums and put in East West Mesa Karate. And I'll give you free tickets to Cataclysm on April 19th, which just happens to be my birthday. So anyway, meat bags, enjoy Howitzer and um, Pelvic Meatloaf, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Remember, this is going to be podcast on phoenix.rcityradio.com uh, forward slash, I guess it is, metal station or metal. So, all right, here we go. Howitzer becoming the antidote.
Our City Radio's Dust Bowl Metal Show, and you're listening to Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Double shot. Really? What kind of crap is that? It just stopped. That's just great. That's all right. We'll play it again. Let's do it. Oh, my God. 
If you do not do so, you may be arrested. It's subject to other police actions, including the use of force, which may result in serious injury. What I say is what I want to do. My integrity's lost on the likes of here. Our City Radio's Dust Bowl Metal Show. And you're listening to Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Our City Radio. Double shot.
constant sorrow all through his day. All right, we've come to the end of another Dust Bowl Metal Show. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And uh, I know I did, I always do. Turn this music down this week because last week I didn't turn it down. You guys didn't hear a damn thing I said. So, anyway, all right, thanks for enjoying the show. I hope you did. Uh, I'll be here next Tuesday night live, and uh, you can listen to it again on uh, the phoenix.ourcityradio.com tomorrow night at 8 p.m. and the rest of the week. And then you'll see me again live. On Tuesday night. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. I broadcast my show from my house, and I've got children. So, there you have it. Anyway, I want to give you one more bit of information. Uh, Screeching Yo! in Underdog Studios presents... Teratoma at the Big Fish Pub Wednesday, April 26th. Uh, the uh, warm up bands will be uh, Territorial Dispute, Building Stonehenge, and Two in the Chest. This is going to be a killer show. It's $8 pre sale, 10 day of show. Hope to see some of you meat bags out there. You can meet the Reverend Black, get a picture uh, with uh, Velvet de Blanco, the drummer, and Two in the Chest. So, anyways, we got uh, the Big Fish Pub on Wednesday, April 26th, Teratoma. Ter- ter- uh, territorial Dispute, Building Stonehenge and Two in the Chest. It's going to be an awesome show. That'll be at 1954 East University Drive, Tempe, Arizona, 85281. It's also hosted by Our City Radio. Oh yeah, Dust Bowl Metal Show, baby. All right, guys, thanks a lot for listening, and we will see you next week. All right. Oh